Hey guys, I'm so sorry it took so long to make this tutorial about the practice routine that you guys asked for. I'm sorry, I was so busy I couldn't have time to record it, but here it goes. It took me also a lot of time because, to be honest, I don't really know what is my practice routine. So I will tell you just what I do and I hope it helps. First of all, you have to warm up every day. It's very important to not start just playing your pieces right away because you can hurt yourself. So what's the best way to warm up? Scales, definitely. I always do like 10 minutes of scales every day. Doesn't matter which key. I recommend you maybe you can use the key of the pieces you are playing, two or three scales, just to feel the sound, feel the instrument, feel your fingers, and that's it. Scales can be a bit boring, but they are extremely helpful. So try to use this time that you dedicate to the scales and take the most advantage of it. When I practice scales, I focus first of all, of course, in intonation, but very important, focus on your right hand. For me, scales are extremely necessary because it's the first contact that I have with the instrument. So I try to get my sound right away. I try to get a good sound. And if I manage to get it early in the morning with the scales, the rest of the day I'm gonna have a good sound. There's also a few things that you can do when you play scales to work on your bow. Try playing like two notes per bow, four notes, six, eight, and you can also try to make like a whole scale in one bow. Usually after warming up, I still need some time to get really focused into the practice. So what I usually do is I start with the um, virtuosic parts of my repertoire. So if I'm playing Rococo variations, I would do like the technical parts. I would do the seventh variation, I would do the second one, you know, so the, all the fast parts I would play very slow. So it makes, it makes me really start to focus, you know, I, I usually start the, uh, in the morning and I'm a bit cold. And in the morning for me it's hard to really get emotionally involved. Uh, so I, I use this time of the day to really get into the feeling of my fingers, try to get understand the, the fast parts, try to figure them out and break them down and, and, and try to you know play as clean as possible. <laughs> personally helps me a lot to have a plan of the day, you know, what do I want to get done that day. So if I have like three, four pieces, I, I have in my mind already like what I'm going to do in the morning, what I'm going to do in the afternoon, you know, because if you start practicing and then just the morning just goes by and you didn't get things done, I hate that feeling. So before you start every day, say like, okay, I have Brahms, Rachmaninoff and Beethoven, so I'm going to do these two movements of this, these two movements of that in the morning, so just make a structure in your head. And then it's so much easier to practice. When I need to really get things done is I use a timer on my phone to really know how much I'm practicing. And as soon as I'm not practicing, I stop it. A stopwatch. And this is a great way to also force yourself to really like accomplish that goal of the day. So I'm going to practice today four hours and I'm gonna get this all, much, all these things done. Like this to prevent like not stop to check Instagram or check, you know, whatever. Like this, like I'm gonna make a break after one hour and boom, and you do it. It makes you work on your willpower. practice breaks are extremely important. I usually do like 15-20 minutes every one and a half hours of practice to you know stretch my legs, uh, breathe a little bit and drink my coffee. I usually like to practice a lot. I practice at least four or five hours every day. Uh, I used to practice even more when I was younger, when I was 13. I was practicing like eight hours a day for like the next 10 years of my life. Uh, but now I'm practicing four or five hours. I think that's my sweet spot. Um, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel confident. If I practice less, which I unfortunately have to do when I travel, um, you know, you have to work on your mind. So I'm working constantly on my mind, trying to 
you know, think about my pieces, mental practice, everything helps. So after you finish practicing, after the whole day, it's very important to stretch, you know, because the muscles, they go through a lot. So I'm just gonna give you a few things, very simple things. If anything hurts, stop doing it. Everybody's different. So just try to find what works for you. Usually what I do is I like to stretch this part, like this. The same, the other way around, like this. You can help yourself also like with a wall. You pull it like this and then you feel where is the stretch and you do it. Um, very simple things, also this, for this, this part of the arm. Same, always with both arms. This other arm you can do like this, this side. Um, just don't force it, it needs to feel relaxed after you do it, it needs to feel good. So that's it guys, I'm sorry it took so long to make this tutorial, I hope it helps. It's very simple things but you know, maybe it gives you an idea or two. Um, please let me know in Instagram uh, which tutorials will be next, I promise it won't take so long. Um, see you next time guys, thank you for watching.